fuck I'm eating, we about to have a sit down. Rock the phone up and play a stick and stick it in the fridge. They know where we are, but they don't know what we did. And if they ain't bought a mix, heard it getting sick. Got us speaking cold when you're talking on the phone. Sticking to the cold, they'll listen to the song. I told my team about manifestation. People are basic, they thought I was crazy. All with the witchcraft, steady every night. When I suck a stone, I perform another right. Right mean a ritual created dry ice. Hit in plain sight with a suit and tie nice. Basic need more than a brick layer. Some vanilla moving chicken, got my cheek tangled. Since they hit Ben Rouge, and he getting off your third eye focus. Wonder where they saw Paul in the tongue. <laughs> Look you your head, and all you trying to pull it, but hey, you lost well, one. Hey, we big slide today, Irma. I got to get some shit off my chest, man. Because I'm feeling it today. I'm feeling it today, you hear me? Hey, pick this. Y'all motherfuckers start doing this shit yourself, man. Start doing this shit yourself, man. Hey, it's like everywhere you, everywhere you go, that's a truck driver. Everywhere you go, you gonna get treated like the bottom of the fucking barrel, you hear me? So I just had to, I just had to pop up on somebody at a red light. So boom, I'm trying to pull out the truck stop. Dude see me about to pull out, but he heard me pull out from behind me and then pull out in front of me. Like, you know what I'm saying? While I'm trying to pull out, that happened to the intersection. So boom. I'm finally goddamn whipping out. Dude take forever to get over into an actual lane. He's still in the middle. So he waited till I don't call speed. Jump right in front of me. It's a red light right there. But it's no cars coming. So I'm like, bro, like, I just want to ask dude straight up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, what's your, what, what's your issue, man? Like, you don't recognize, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole truck out you're trying to move. But you don't want to be behind the truck, but you move as slow as hell, as if, you know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I don't get it. Motherfuckers hot. You leave that little bit of space right there in front of the truck. Somebody, boom, drop the whole whip in your shit. When that's your look, you know, your little safety cushion. You can be at a light, you know what I'm saying? Even with some of y'all truck drivers, man. Y'all look, we'll be in the right lane. Then you trying to come out, you, you know what I'm saying? You on the on ramp, trying to get on the highway. You will speed up and ride the same speed as the truck that's already in the right lane. It's a merging lane that you in. Bro, you need to merge onto the highway. Don't be trying to jump in front of somebody like they're obligated to slow down. That's not how this shit go. You get on the highway, we already on the highway. So you need to adjust your shit so you can just slide right in. You know what I'm saying? It's, I don't get some of y'all people, bro. A lot of y'all can't drive. I don't give a damn if you're in a truck or a car. Some of y'all just can't drive, period. Y'all don't even know what the hell the rules is. And like I had to hop on dude this morning because he trying to get on the highway. You ride right next to me. Then you speed up, ride the shoulder, and hurry up and jump over. And your trailer about to hit my shit. But then when I pop off the truck on your ass, I'm the one in the wrong. Oh, bro, you hit my whip, dog. Hey, I pay for this. I pay for this. We both be professional drivers. Even with these four wheelers, bro. It's like you could be sliding 70 miles up the road in the middle lane. Prime drivers and JB Hunt Swift. Stay the hell out there. I ain't got nothing against the individual. Just the hell I do. If you in the middle lane, speed limit 75, 70 miles an hour. You got trucks behind you. And you see people going around you happen in that left lane to go around you and ain't nobody in that right lane and you riding side by side with a JB Hunt or somebody doing a half mile faster than you, bro, slow down and get behind the other driver. Why would you hold up the whole middle lane just because you about to pass this dude in 12 minutes and y'all riding side by side? What's the point, bro? I don't get it. It's like if I'm sliding 75 and somebody else, I see him coming up on him. He might be going 74. Slow down to 74, 73. Right until he able to get over or whatever like that or he pass the next truck. I don't get y'all, bro. Y'all constantly do this. Y'all do this day in and day out. Just like earlier, I'm behind a Swift and a JV Hunt. Company drivers, why do y'all ride side by side together? One of y'all go a half a mile out faster than the next person. What's the point? We all turn the racing too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, 
bro, just slow down and get behind the next person. I'm not about to be sliding 75 and hop behind somebody that's going 62 miles an hour and, and just expect to just sit back here and chill. That's not how it go. It's like, it's called common courtesy to other drivers, to other drivers. And then you know what? Y'all know y'all do something stupid because y'all might, y'all will see a truck coming up the middle lane. Y'all will hurry up and jump over because you feel like you bought to pass the truck in front of you. But it done took you goddamn 97 miles to pass that dude. And then we finally get the opportunity to pass you. And we look over there and you you over there, you look with both hands on the steering wheel. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get it. Y'all could be doing nothing. Nothing at all. Then as soon as somebody pass you, you want to be turned like this. You know, you trying to eat some damn chips. Man, hey. You know you're doing something stupid. You know you're doing something stupid. Like, what, what be the problem? What be the problem? And then don't let somebody catch you at the same truck stop. And then confront you about it. Because a lot of y'all feel like y'all, this whole damn truck when y'all in it. And you don't realize your ass go back to being human when you step outside this month. When you step outside this truck. And then when somebody confronts you about it, it's, oh no, man, I was trying to, I was trying to like, hey bro, stop doing stupid shit. You can't be stupid all your life, bro. Be courteous. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Y'all jump head in front of somebody. Cause too. Jump in front of you while traffic slowing down and slam on the brakes. And then when you grab one of these little water bottles, because I do something like this, pop the top off and hit you with one of them, toast that bitch, to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, what you do that for, man? Oh, yeah, step back here. I'll right, beat your ass real quick, and i go deliver this load. It's courtesy, man. Y'all hop in this fuel line. Y'all go in the fuel line. Take your whole 30 minute break in a fuel line. Leave the pumps inside the, inside the tanks. You know what I'm saying? Then when somebody come up there, you got a whole sub or burger in your hand, and you trying to eat, eat. Oh, I'm about to pull up driving. Like, you bro, you should've been gone. Nigga, I got 480 gallons I just put in my truck. And you, bro, you could've been gone. I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I don't get it. I say as much fucking courtesy that we don't get and nobody realize we get treated like shit like I said in my last video we get treated like shit everywhere we go everywhere we the bottom of the barrel to these motherfuckers you ain't got no bathroom you can't park here you can't rest up you can't do nothing no nothing as soon as you pull over somewhere boom they're the police you can't park right there hey somebody torn your shit somebody got them done put a fat ass you know thing on your windshield so you can't move nowhere somebody done booted your truck we the ones moving this shit. Now let it just be one week. Well, you know, all the truck drivers say, you know what? Fuck it. Y'all move this for y'all self. Y'all figure this shit out. How you gonna get it? Watch how fucking sad the US get. Everybody gonna then realize, bro, trucks move this shit. Give them courtesy. Get the fuck out of the way. You in the middle lane? Bro, if your grandmama is on the highway and she going 55 miles an hour, tell her to pull over and you start driving. Like, bro, I don't, hey man, I'm going to put a scuba on the front of my truck, yeah, man. and you're going to notice me because it's going to say Frank did it on the front of that bitch. I put a scuba, so when I pull up behind you, on the, hey, just pump the whip, hey, boom, scoop y'all, <laughs> scoop y'all out the way, yeah. hey man, you know, get like one of those special things on Spongebob, hey, grab the back of your shit and <laughs> toss that bitch to the side, yeah. hey man, y'all got to get some type of courtesy, bro. I was just having it today. It's big to big with people. Look at this dude. Boom. Tribe, what they call tribe something. Oh, you, you ride a 65 in the middle lane. Right next to a CFI. Like, why is y'all doing that? Come on, mate. Now I gotta be in the left lane. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, it's a whole nother lane, so I ain't, you know, doing no lane violation right now. But it's like we shouldn't have to do that. And then companies want to say, oh, yeah, slow the truck down and be patient. Like, hey, man, I got an appointment to get to. I ain't trying to be out y'all all day. If I'm sliding, hey, y'all ever been behind somebody, right? You don't have all the energy in the world. Then you finally get behind somebody, and then you ride. Before you know it, you start to get tired because you're looking at the back. <laughs> you, <laughs> you keep looking at the back of that truck. 
and you realize like, hey, I'm no longer going 70, I'm going 62 miles an hour with 63. And you know, for some of y'all overheads, you know, one of these start to, you know what I'm saying? When you do that, it's, it's over with. You gotta kick it up a gear, you know what I'm saying? Hey, jump to the next lane and get, and get gone. I just don't get it. I don't get it. And you, and another thing, what y'all drive, or some, or some of y'all drivers, y'all overheads, they got y'all own trucks. It be mainly old heads that do this. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be cruising 70 miles an hour in the right lane. Cool. We in the middle lane. I'm going probably about 75. Next thing I know, I look over in my mirror because I'm about to pass you. I'm planning on hopping back in that right lane. I'm just not a left lane rider all day. I want to get back in the right lane. I look back over. Yo ain't is riding next to my damn trailer. Then I speed up a little bit. I'm starting to leave you. I'm trying to hurry up and get back over. You speed up and ride right next to my trailer again. I slow down, you slow down. The next thing you want to know, you want to take off. What is the point behind it? Why you ain't been gone? Why you want to keep, why y'all like to play around? What's the point of it? And then when somebody ride past you, you looking straight ahead like you didn't do nothing. Or some of y'all ride with that curtain like halfway to your window. Cause you don't want nobody to see the, who doing the dumb shit on the road. I don't get it. What's the point? Y'all gonna keep, like y'all gonna continue to do this every day, all day, when you can just go deliver your load and, and leave other drivers alone. Y'all wanna mess with drivers when you in the truck, but when you outside the truck, it's a whole nother ball game. If you don't want to be in a position to possibly get slapped the shit out of, stop messing with people. Stop messing with people. Like somebody else said, oh, like, you know, um, like it's about they, they, they carry a machete in their truck and, you know, uh, that, that's for their safety and all of that. And if drivers ever, he said something when I was just back there at the truck stop. You think I give a damn about a machete? Like my granddaddy always said, never bring a knife to a good fight. It's just something you don't do. You know what I'm saying? Just something you don't do. I'm not kidding about all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make a video about that too, about safety on the road. Because this permit that I got, I only travel the states that allow me where my, my, my license is valid. DOT, they say you can't have certain stuff, but I'm gonna get into that on a whole nother video. You know what I'm saying? So people don't be like, oh yeah, he talk guns around all the time. It, it's not like that, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanna get off my chest. I might drop a part two of this shit, because hey, I've been in it all day. We all signed to Wisconsin. I'm about to go ahead and get it in. I'm feeling too good today. Besides, I want to backhand the hell off somebody. So I got to find me a plan of fitness. Oh, I should have brought my wife so I can go ahead and get on tomorrow. But at the same time, like, fuck around find a plan of fitness. So I can do something tight. Get on tomorrow. You know, all the way. So, yeah. Y'all have a good one. I'm about to check out. Woo! Motherfucker, all this. Damn, boy. Nigga be up on the first song. Trying to be a good dude, but at the same time, like, um, just, it, the whole point is be courteous of all the drivers. Stop doing the dumb, dumb stuff, man. Just be courteous. That's all we want. To be courteous. And y'all, the drivers, be courteous, guy. Be courteous, bro. Like, no. I appreciate y'all for checking in. It's your boy, Frank Nitty. Dropping another one here. Y'all be safe, y'all be good, safe travels, everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? Stay out the way, keep it moving. Just run up this bag.